it's Kai, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new speed build video. Today we are going to be building a barn house in Brindleton Bay and Brindleton Bay is one of my favorite worlds to build in and it comes with the cats and dogs pack which is super cute if you want to buy it. I definitely recommend the cats and dogs pack but anyways before I get further talking about this build I just want to say that Happy New Year to everyone. This is actually my first recorded video or second for 2022 because I'm recording this on the 3rd of January but it might not be out um, that early for the schedule. <laughs> but anyways, um, I wish everyone a Happy New Year and I wish, I mean I hope the very best for you all and maybe achieve your goals or something like that um, but all the best but anyways today we are building a um, barn house in Brindleton Bay <laughs> um, and the barn house is called a blue barn house because it is blue in color and I had a lot of fun building this build because it is very pretty in my opinion and I really hope you guys will like this build as much as I did building it it definitely was a lot of fun decorating the house from the inside and out and yeah, I really hope you guys will like this build. This house, anyways, um, contains only one bedroom and one bathroom and it only fits a single sim and I imagine the sim that lives here is into animals and is an animal lover. So for the landscaping of the house, you will see that I will be putting some chicken coops. I think just one chicken coop and also um, a couple or three of... Um, soil patches from the cottage living pack and I imagine that the sim that lives here is pretty much into animals and also farming although I myself am not a farming person I don't really like to farm and I don't really like uh, you know because it's hot here I guess that's why I don't like it um, and you know if farming you have to do a lot of work and it's a lot of sweaty and <laughs> um just humid weather over here but anyways i think if this place wasn't as humid as it is now i think i would enjoy some outdoor activities but anyways um overall the house is pretty much small and it took me some time to figure out the floor plan of the house because I couldn't really figure out due to it being so limitedly spaced. Um, and then over here I was adding a corner in the house where I wanted to put the sofa, the triangular sofa from the cats and dogs pack. Which you will have to do like this to, you know, fit it in the corner. <laughs> um, but overall I think this build is pretty good in terms of the planning and also the color scheme. I am in love with the color scheme although it is kind of basic in my opinion but I think I really like it because it is very contrasting to each other. As you can see I contrasted the blue color of the wallpaper from the Island Living pack with the roofing that is red in color. And initially, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what kind of roof pattern I wanted to include for this build. But I ended up going with this red color and also it is consisting of like lines. Um, and it looked better that way um, than the other roof uh, patterns that I tested this house with. So that's what I went for. But for the landscaping, as you can see, I decided to include some crawling veins from the get together pack. And I wanted to make it have this effect that it is like blending into nature, but it subtly blends because I end up not having, I mean, not putting a lot of those decorative items. Um, but overall, I think the landscaping was quite okay. It is a very limited space because we are building this house on a 20 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay and there are not a lot of 20 by 20 lots in the Sims game I think a lot of them are 20 by 15 or 30 by 20 at least the medium size um, and I'm not so sure if you can hear any background noise as of now because my windows are open and I'm sorry for that but anyways, talking about that I recently moved to a new place so for the New Year's I you know, I was busy packing and unpacking and moving into a new place and also figuring out, you know, settling stuff like errands and stuff like that. So it was kind of um, 
a like tiring weekend for me because um I did it over New Year so yeah moving isn't a lot of fun for me but I think I really like the new place so it is a bit uh loud I think <laughs> because the windows are open and there's a lot of echo going on so I'm sorry for that if you can hear any background noises but anyways as you can see we are working on the landscaping of the build and you can see that I also put some hedges that I normally do this technique whereby I put in some a couple of tall hedges for each staircase that is present in the build <laughs> so it is kind of a routine for me in terms of landscaping but also I try to use a lot of reds to contrast it with the um, blue color wallpaper and also I wanted to say consistent with the color scheme in terms of the landscaping and also the wall decorations of the exterior so you will see that there is a lot of reds going on like splashes of reds <laughs> but anyways i also ended up using the um, bushes that i really really like from the cats and dogs pack which are kind of like um it's very pretty but i'm not sure what it is called um but it looks it kind of looks like a wild plant but yeah i really like that plant so i decided to use it in this build also because we are building this house in windleton bay so it would make sense for me to use a lot of items from the cats and dogs pack but anyways um here i am just decorating the roof with some roof decorations and to me if i put the decorations like that it looks much more better and it is amazing how one simple detail or you know some subtle elements can make the house look more different <laughs> because in my opinion the house looks different without the roof decoration so the roof decorations i decided to include to add a little more personality to the house and also make it look more nicer and then for the porches over here you can see i'm decorating the roofing of the porch with some plants from the base game which i really really like the effect that it uses it is an old um technique that i used to do in my previous builds but i recently did it again <laughs> but anyways here i'm just placing the lots and deciding how i want to place them and i will also be adding a chicken coop at the corner next to this corner over here and i imagine that the sim that i said in the beginning of the video i believe i said that the sim that lives here is into farming and animals so i decided to include a chicken coop and also some soil patches from the cottage living pack so that the sim is very um <laughs> fitted in terms of their personality and then i also um was feeling awkward about the space between the chicken coop and the soil patches over here so i decided to just include a couple of patches of grass from the debug menu and make it look like it's worn out land <laughs> where um some grass is trying to grow on it but anyways, we are starting off to furnish the um, house with the porches over here. I decided to include a bench in the front part of the porch so it looks nicer. And at the back part, I had trouble figuring out how to place items along the back porch because it, there was not a lot of space for me to do so. And for this table that you see over there, I will end up removing that table <laughs> because when I play tested this build it didn't really work out and then you will also see me maybe like moving the house around the land so I'm not so sure if that will be included because I forgot if I included it when I edited the video before recording the voiceover um, but I definitely know that mm, the table that I put there will be removed and I will be replacing that table and chairs with a couple of couches from the um seasons pack which i think really suit this type of vibe <laughs> but anyways we are moving on into the um furnishing the house for the inside and we are starting off with this hallway and then we are moving on to this living room over here which i mentioned that i wanted to use the sofa from the cats and dogs pack which is triangular and I also paired the living room, which is blue and white in color, with this gorgeous fireplace from the Cottage Living Pack. And it really looks nice. Um, I think in the end, there will be some um, items that I will be that I will be removing when I upload this house to the gallery. Because when I playtested the build, 
it, you, my sim couldn't really you know access some things so for example after this i will be adding a coffee table from the tiny living pack but i will be removing it um in the screenshot in the screenshots and also when i upload the build because when i wanted my sim to light up the fireplace they couldn't access it due to the coffee table <laughs> uh, but the living room also has a mini library which i used from the kids room stuff back and then i will also be removing this rocking chair i think in the end because it took up a lot of space but over here is going to be the kitchen of the build and it's pretty small as you can see i also use these aprons that i found from the base game i think they are from the recent update i'm not too sure but i really like how it looks like because it looks not um arranged neatly and that's what you want usually when it comes to building so it doesn't really look staged or anything like that and then i will also be turning these counters into blue instead of red because i thought that the blue looked better even though i wanted to put the red counters i also ended up adding some splashes of red around the kitchen like this curtain and also the fridge and also the um plates rack <laughs> at the sink um and that's basically it for the kitchen but we are moving on to the dining room of the build and the dining room is a bit small so i ended up uh having to rearrange the floor plan of the house but in the end it it really blended together really well and just i just decorated it simply and then over here also i will also be um, adjusting the house a bit so you will see that i put in a lot of you know more like more walls and then i will also be adding a curved roof for the side on the right side when you view it from this angle um, just to make sure that the bed can fit properly because the bed couldn't fit and my sim couldn't access the other side of the bed so i wanted to make sure that the bed was accessible from all sides so i decided to extend the house for a bit like this and then it, it doesn't really look awkward because of the tree in front of the exterior but if you remove the tree i think it will look a bit awkward i don't know but I decided to make it a curved roof because all of the other roofs are straight and I wanted to include a bit more contrast for the house. But anyways, also in the bedroom, there is also the ensuite, which is the only bathroom in this house. There is no other bathroom other than that bathroom. And it is pretty small and blue in color, obviously. <laughs> and I also uh, managed to include a study table from the city living pack, which takes up only one space box for the exterior interior but anyways that's the end of the video so i really hope you guys will like this build if you do like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i hope to talk to you guys in my next video bye